Hey, this is Safevavi from LickinRef.com and it's time to learn another awesome guitar technique. In this video, we're gonna cover percussive finger style from start to finish. We're gonna learn six different methods to drum on our guitar while making music, using exercises with tabs right here on the screen and zooming in on my right hand. So, um, let's go over the techniques. Let's see if I can nail all of them in one take. Um, the slapping technique, the most basic and common one. Right? Two thumping techniques, using our thumb or using our fingernails. Right? We're gonna learn the nail knock technique. Right? knocking with our fingernail. You hear that? We're gonna drum and strum, which seems easy, but it still takes some uh, coordination. Okay, and last but not least, let's see if I can nail this, the tap and slap. Something like that. Didn't nail it in the first take, as you could see. Now, three things before we start. One, be patient. Practice this one exercise at a time, one technique at a time. Okay, this takes time. To make it feel natural, it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice. For some of you, this will come easier. For some of you, it'll be harder. But you will get it eventually. Every technique is attainable once you have patience. Okay, this video won't be going anywhere. It will remain up. Right here on Lick and Riff, you can return to it anytime, okay? For free, it'll never um, go anywhere, okay? I promise. So, have patience. Now, the second thing um, is that you need to feel the beat. We're gonna talk about the beat a lot in this lesson. Okay, you're gonna need to feel the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Usually, the thumps are on the one, the slaps are on the three, okay? Almost with all the exercises I'm gonna show you. Now, uh, about the tab, this is the third and last thing I wanna tell you. About the tab, uh, I marked the slaps with an X, the slaps with an X, and the thumps with uh, brackets around the notes you're picking along with the thump, okay? So that's the tab explanation. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's start with the slapping technique. It's the most common technique. It's not the easy one, but it's the most common one. So let's start with that because that's gonna accompany us uh, along with the entire uh, lesson because we're gonna use slaps alongside every other technique. So uh, the slap is done with this part of the hand, the bottom of your palm near the wrist. Okay, this part, the flashy part. Now, uh, you will be using the same part of the hand for the, the thump, but right now we're gonna use it on the strings, on the bass strings. We wanna get this sound. Now, um, you can use it for the entire set of strings, okay? But um, it's preferable to get the habit of hitting the bottom strings, okay? The, um, the bass strings, because then you can keep strumming and playing melodies on the top strings as we're gonna do in a little while. So our first exercise, let's hope my guitar didn't get out of tune with all those string hits. Um, the first exercise is gonna be this. Put a minor on, okay? So what we're gonna play is this. We're gonna play strings five, four, three, then slap, then we're gonna play strings three and four together. Okay, just to get used to the slapping. Okay? Five, four, three, slap, three and four. Okay? Now, again, Slapping the bass strings, you don't have to slap them really hard, you just give them a little bump. Okay? In our next
next exercise, we're gonna elaborate on that and add the strum. We're gonna slap and strum at the same time, like this. Okay, this is why I only want you to hit the bass strings. Because now what you're gonna do is throw open your hand and once you uh, hit the bass strings, you hit the top strings with your fingernails, like this. Okay, so you get both sounds at the same time, the chord and the thump. Okay, like this, really slowly. This would probably sound off, but like this. Okay? Okay? It has to be precise. Okay? You have to work on that. So the exercise is this. Strings. Again, A minor, strings. Five, three, two, slap and strum, and then pick strings one, two, and three using your fingers. Okay, not the fingernails. Use the flashy part of your finger to get the different sounds. So you get a strum and a pick. Okay, different sounds. So. Okay, now once you're comfortable with that, change to D minor and try to do that as well. Now, the... challenge here would be to hit everything but the top three strings. Okay, so you get the entire chord. So... And then go back to A minor. Okay, now you can add to it. You can do three pull off to zero uh, when you pick again. By itself or with the chord. Okay, now once you get the speed going, it'll sound a little bit better. Okay, you can give it a little more groove. Now, the last uh, exercise for the slapping technique is a complete riff, which is this. What I played at the beginning. Okay, this is two bars. Uh, I play D, I pick strings 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I slide into D from the first string to the second string. Then I play strings 1, 2, and 3 again. Then I slap and strum, okay, but I slap and strum on D sus 2. I play it with the open first string, okay? I take the second uh, finger off of the second fret of the first string, so I get this. And then I pick again, and I put my finger back on, so I get D again. And then I pick the whole chord again with the bass note, strings 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I hammer on the sus4 sound. I hammer on the pinky on the third fret. And then I pick D again, okay, I take the pinky off. And then I play the slap and strum again uh, on D sus2. And then pick two again, okay? Pick the D chord again, the whole D chord again. So this is just, okay? It's just a cliche on the D chord. It's one slide to two, two, zero, two, two hammer on to three, two, zero, two again. Okay, but with slaps. play this you can make your own riff but the important thing is that the bass notes are on the one and the slaps are on the three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, got it?
So let's move on to. Okay, I'll play it slowly. Sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Even slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now go practice the slapping technique. Once you're ready, let's learn the thump. Now, the thump, the bass thump, it sounds like a bass drum, okay? On some guitars it sounds uh, a bit trebly, on other guitars it sounds like a really deep bass drum, uh, depending on the wood and the make of the guitar, but it sounds, it's designed to sound like a bass drum. Now, again, you use this part of the hand, the fleshy part, the bottom of the palm, right near the wrist, and this time you hit the guitar body the wood right above the sound hole okay now what you do is this your hand is in the picking position and you just throw your wrist down okay this is what you're aiming for now this takes a bit of getting used to especially when you add this picking the bass note. Now we're gonna stay on A minor because E is easy and if you practice with E minor and you only pick E then um, it'll be harder to pick the rest of the strands. For example if you pick D minor picking the D bass note. So you want to get used to something that has strings all around it. So let's stay on A minor. You pick with your thumb and as you pick you throw your wrist down. Okay? You want them to be as close together as possible. Okay? Now, practice this. Just this. Even though it sounds and looks a little bit ridiculous, just practice this. This movement. Now, once you're, um, you think that you're ready, let's play the first uh, lick. <sighs> Okay, here goes, um, this. Okay, sounds familiar? That's um, the same lick we played before, but we added the thumb. So you already know this lick, it's A minor, it's strings five, four, three, slap and strum, and then pick the chord again, so. slowly, really methodically. I think the guitar went a little bit out of tune. What does it matter? We're gonna hit the strings a lot more. So um, this is the first exercise, just adding the thump. Okay, the thump and the thumb. Okay, now the second variation, what I played just now, um, was playing the same thing, but I played the bass note, the next bass note, before the thump, like this. Okay, I played five, four, three, slap and strum, and then the chord, and then right away the bass. And then I thumped without any other notes, so it was. What this creates is a sense of syncopation. It gives you a sense of groove. Because it gives you the end feel, the to end, 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 which creates grooves. So you can practice this too. It's the same exercise, but the second time around, you start with the thump and thumb. Okay, but the second time around, you play the bass before the thump. Okay, now um, 
Now from here on out, you can combine exercises to create new riffs and new licks for you to play with. Um, for example, you can do the thump once with the bass note and then the second time around without the bass note or between bass notes. And then you can combine them again and separate them again, something like this. With the bass note, without, with, without. So you get Okay, try to hear the beat. Try to if if you can sing what you're playing, then you're doing fine. Okay? Um if you can hear the beat, then you can keep it going. If not, just slow it down and work methodically until you can work your way up to speed. Okay? Now the next technique, the thump and nail technique instead of thump and thumb, uh, it's basically the same thing. I've heard it being called the nail attack. Um, it's kind of like the slap and strum, okay? But you thump the wood and strum the bass note, okay? Um, you strum the bass note, so it's a slap and strum, but you don't slap anything, so it's a thump and strum. But uh, just for namesake, um, for nomenclature, you will... I will call it thump and nails. Um, so, how do you do that? You do it exactly like you do the uh, slap and strum, um, but a couple of inches up. So, it's this. That's it. This. You thump and throw your nails down to hit the bass note. And now, what am I doing here? I'm playing A minor, right? So how come we don't hear the E bass string? Because I'm touching it with my thumb right here to mute it. So we only hear the A bass note. So got it? Uh, now again, playing this slowly won't yield any good uh, sound, but I'll try. Okay, it's this. You hammer your hand down on the guitar with a very short nail attack. Okay, don't strum the whole set of strings, just aim for a very, very small movement. Okay, very small movement. Very, very small. Okay, it doesn't matter if you here A5, but you don't want this. You don't want the entire chord to sound. You want the bass note. Okay, so work on this. Now for this, we're gonna try and learn a more complex riff. We're gonna do this. the thump and nail okay for the a bass note then you pick with your fingers you pick strings three and four you hammer on from zero to two then you slap and strum but you aim to play only the second and third strings okay so we don't hear the e string and the way you do that is uh, limit your finger movement and try to uh, do the same small movement that you did with this and do it here, okay? So you don't hear the E string, okay? You don't, I'm not muting it. It's open. But you want to practice hitting the strings that you aim for. Okay, you want to be precise. You want to hit exactly the strings that you want to play. So practice this, the thump with the nails for the A bass and practice this. This was wrong, okay? The slap and strum for strings two and three 
without playing and hitting the E string. Now, if you hit it, it doesn't make any difference, but I want you to learn the technique. So you do this, okay, the thump and nails, the hammer on from zero to two on strings three and four, and then the slap and strum on strings two and three. I know this was sloppy, I played the E string. And then you do the hammer on again, okay? From zero to two on strings three and four. And you get this, thump and nails, hammer on, slap and strum, hammer on, on strings three and four, and you get this. bass note, the thump on the one, the slap on the three, okay? As a rule, rule of thumb, um, it's not a pun, it is a rule of thumb, the slap always comes on the third beat. Get used to playing the slap on every third beat and you will have percussion down in no time, okay? This is the key to percussive finger style. Maybe I should have said it earlier, but you know, it's a lesson. Uh, so uh, if you are watching up to now, this is the secret to percussive finger style, to play the slap every third beat, along with whatever else you're playing. So this is the exercise. Okay, now you can do this with the thump and thumb as another exercise. Now, the next one, uh, the next exercise I thought of is the same thing with adding a lick at the end. Instead of this, you can replace it with one hammer on to three on the second string, uh, and then the open E string, or three pull off to zero on the first string again, so... Okay, something like this. This, the hammer on, and then slap and strum, and then one hammer on to three on the second string, and the E string. And you can play three zero instead on the E string. You can play one and then the other. Okay, you can uh, make your own exercise uh, and build your own lick. Okay, but I'm just giving you the tools. Now, uh, the next two exercises, the next two techniques are a lot of fun. They're really, really simple. I kept the simple stuff um, up to here because uh, the, the last technique we're going to learn is probably the most difficult one to get down. So let's have a little break from uh, difficult exercises and let's learn something that's a little easier. Uh, the nail knock technique is just strumming the top strings, strings three, two, and one, and keeping your finger going until your fingernail hits the guitar right below the sound hole, like this. Okay, so you get this, this sound. Okay, so the exercise that I can think of is this. Okay, something like this. Um, this is a simple technique, use it in any way you like. Okay, uh, you have to use a little force when you strum down. So the exercise is in D minor, you play strings um, four, three, two, one, and then you strum and let your nail hit the um, the wood, and then you pick strings one and two, or two and three. Okay, now 
one other exercise is to use the thumb and thump along with this. Okay, uh, again, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You play the thump with the bass note, with the one, and then two, and then three with the nail knock. Okay, replaces the slap, and then four. Got it? Not too difficult. This is one of the easier techniques. Now before we continue to the fifth technique, uh, I want to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? There's a ton of lessons waiting for you, so subscribe to the channel and become a member of the Lick and Riff community. After this lesson is over, or even right now, you can click the link in the description and go download the tab from the website. The tab is for free, everything is for free, always for free on Lick and Riff. It's called Lick and Riff Free Guitar Education after all. Uh, but if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff and help me produce more of these lessons, there's a large blue donation button. And this lesson, for example, is a direct result of people who donated to Lick and Riff and keep this dream alive. So thank you uh, to everyone who's been watching so far. Thank you for your donations, anyone who did donate, and thank you for any future donations that you will choose to make. I thank you in advance and it all will go right back into Lick and Riff. It all goes right back into Lick and Riff into working and making these lessons. That's all I wanted to say. So let's learn the fifth technique, the drum and strum. Now this, um, this is a basic technique. Um, it's okay, just playing a bit of drums on the guitar, bass, snare, the bass, bass, snare. Okay, um, again, you use the fleshy part down the palm of your hand next to the wrist to thump on the guitar, on this part, okay, um, of the body. This gets the best bass sound, bass drum sound. So you thump it, then you just hit lightly next to the edge of the guitar. Okay. Okay, you can use the side of the guitar to get a sound. Okay, now let's add some chords. Let's play E minor and A sus2. Okay, A sus2, 2 and 2 on strength 3 and 4. Okay. Now you play with um, you you play this you play the chord you can thump and strum it okay to get the bass sound going and then you continue the rhythm so um, the first bass drum sound comes along with a chord or just the chord because this has a certain percussion sound to it because you're hitting strings. So you hear this. Okay, if in, even if it's unconsciously, you hear this sound. And this is a percussive sound no matter what you do. So you can play the bass or you can just strum. So strum, snare, bass, 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 snare, bass, strum, snare, bass, 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 snare, bass, strum. Okay, and change chords. Okay, now you can also add this instead of the last snare. So it's chord, snare, bass, 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 snare, and chord. Okay, so it's bass, snare, the bass, bass, snare, and chord. Got it? This is a really fun technique to practice, okay, if you're uh, singing along with friends around a campfire, you know, if you're living in a cliché or having a better life than I do, um, then uh, just, uh, you know, you can do this to entertain, or if you're jamming with people, then doing this. <laughs> will really 
get the party going while the other guitar player will go, uh, you know. Okay, and start jamming on whatever it is you're playing. Um, so, this is a real um, party strum technique, the drum and strum. And now we're up to the sixth and last technique, um, the one that I'm probably gonna mess up the most, uh, the tap and slap. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is this. We're gonna thump and strum, okay, the nail attack. We're gonna thump and play the E bass string. And then we're gonna hammer on two and then three. So, and then we're gonna tap eight on the bass note. Then we're gonna let go of this hand. We're gonna slap the side of the guitar for the ka sound. So, this is what we get. And then quickly we put a finger behind the tapping finger on seven and then pull off the tapping finger to play seven on the E bass note. Okay, so it's thump zero, two, three, tap eight, slap, put on seven, pull off the tap, and you get this. Okay, really slowly. Now, once you're comfortable with that, let's continue with the riff that I created. The first time around, it was 8-7 at the end. Now, the second time around, you tap 7 and pull off to 5. Seven, five. Then, the third time, you do 5-3. Okay, so fourth time around, uh, you can go back up. Okay, so you can go, you can loop it around and do down, up, down, up, or find a finisher like eight, eight, seven. Okay, you tap twice. Sound like this. You tap, you let it go, you put your finger on seven, you tap again and pull off. Like this. So you get this. Zero, two, three, eight, seven, zero, two, three, seven, five, zero, three, five, three, zero, two, three, eight, eight, seven. And right after the tap, you slap. You can build your own licks. You can do uh, eight, slide to ten, slide back to eight, pull off to seven. You can do um, eight, eight, ten, eight, seven, like this. Eight, then eight, slide to ten, eight, slide uh, ten, slide to eight, then pull off to seven, like this. Not like that. And then you can um, do another bass note to get pam pa pa pam instead of pa pa pa. Okay, and then you add another note to it. Okay, you just strum the bass string again. Yeah, I don't care that I'm missing notes here. I want to demonstrate the slapping technique. So. Okay, marry the tap to the slap. Every time you tap, automatically connect it to a slap. Okay, tell yourself, tap and slap.
Hence the name. Tap, slap. Tap, slap. Tap, slap. Tap. Okay, got it? And then you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, you can hammer on E5. You can strum strings um, 4, 5, and 6. And hammer on the 2 and 2 on strings 5 and 4. And then hammer on the 3 on the bass. And then you get a variation. Okay? Okay, something like this. You can tap on different strings. You can tap on... The A string, you can tap on the D string. Okay, something like this. Okay, just play with it. I played uh, 9 and 7. Now, it wasn't very melodic exactly to the scale, but who says it has to adhere to a scale? We're doing an exercise. So just play whatever you want to play, and then you can tune your guitar differently and try it with different chords and different stuff. Um, there's actually no end to this. For example, you can... You can do a drop D and do something like this. Okay, I'm just playing around here. I know that it sounds lame, but I'm just giving you more ideas to use. So, um, I'll go tune my guitar now. I think it went completely out of tune during this lesson, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that you know how to strum and drum on your guitar right now. And I congratulate you for it. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't downloaded the, the tab for the exercises yet, go to the website. The link is in the description. Go download the tab. If you want to give something back for this lesson, there's the donation button. And of course, it will go right back into making more lessons for you to enjoy. So I thank you in advance for your support. And share this lesson with anyone that you know would appreciate it anyone is allowed to learn new techniques and get better on guitar and that way you will have someone to jam with but even if not that's okay okay i'm still here uh and i will be here the next lesson to teach you more awesome stuff so i will see you the next lesson you go get this under your fingers enjoy have fun let me know how it goes and thanks for watching bye for now